Hi, this is Angel Voice on Read TV. The first article comes from Cracked.com. It's called Six Unsolved Mysteries That Were Totally Solved. Most of it is dedicated to history channel bashing. I guess the authors Jacopo della Quirca and Sam Blitz really hate some high quality entertainment and decided to kill it with awesome facts. Facts! I'm loving it. Story number six is about Amelia Earhart. She was a pilot that got lost on her journey around the Earth. You see what people do when there is no TV? They make history. Now it's exactly the opposite. Anyway, her body was found on some island not too long ago. Oh no, 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 my sexist friend. She did not collide with it while fixing her makeup. Awesome lady, great story. Number four is no less than the fate of Atlantis. They are doomed forever. Nah, I'm just kidding, they're alright. Apparently Atlantis was a fiction invented by Plato. Not Pluto the dog, Plato the philosopher. He invented the lost city for Socrates because their real life was boring. But great story ancient man. Great cartoon too. Oh, cartoons! Number one is a story about Anastasia. Not the singer, the princess. Her family was murdered, but her body was never found. Everybody thought she got away. There were many imposters that claimed to be the princess. I guess they all worked for History Channel. Her body was found and DNA tested. She was lying not too far from the rest of her family remainings. So, no more cartoons about this. Bummer. Picture of today comes from 9gag. Some may say that it deals with balls. But if you look closer, it talks about hierarchy in a capitalistic society that is rotten to the core. Anyway, this picture is funny because it's wrong. And now, listen to some tunes. I know y'all seen us on the video. True. Y'all gonna hear us on the radio. True. This here. It's just another jam. Got a bit more flavor in it than a can of spam. No, he's gacko, he's wacko, she's that. This channel named Scott Bradley Loves Ya is dedicated to making new pop music less annoying. The talented musicians rewrite it in old 30s and 40s music styles. They also do it live in one take. Every Saturday they post a slow jazz version of some cartoon theme and this time it's the Animaniacs. Whoa, did you see this guy jumping out of the screen like that? Man, I wish I could play an instrument. Useful website is deepreview.com. It is dedicated to photo cameras, lenses, and forums that hate your photos. We all got this friend, the photographer. He takes 400 pictures in one weekend to Grand Canyon and makes us watch this pure awesomeness. So send this person to this website. It will lower his self-esteem in minutes and the madness would stop. Or at least the picture quality would change. At last. Apple's Weed Game, a game about weed, was number one in Apple's store charts. All the cool kids were playing it, but the not so cool kids were leaving it. In my opinion, for once Apple did right. Also, although top charts are based on popularity, and by thus the number one game is a democratic choice of Apple store users, still sometimes a little moderation is required. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. All links are in the video description below. Have a good one. Hit it.